Hello everyone, today we want to talk about top 10 movies of Robert De Niro. Number 10, Awakenings, 1990, the director is Penny Marshall, actors and actresses are Robin Williams, Julie Kovner, Ruth Nelson. The victims of an encephalitis epidemic many years ago have been catatonic ever since. But now, a new drug offers to prospect of reviving them. A fascinating and moving story. The acting is as good as you will ever see. In my opinion, both Robin Williams and Robert De Niro should have won Oscars for this film. You don't look like a patient. <laughs> Hello? IMDb score is 7.8. Meta score is 74. And Rotten Tomatoes score is 89. I would do all the things that you people take for granted. Number 9. Heat. 1995. Director is Michael Mann. Actors and actresses are Al Pacino, Val Kilmer, and John Voight. A group of high-end professional thieves start to feel the heat from the LAPD when they unknowingly leave a clue at their latest heist. The best character film of all time. It's truly epic, absolutely breathtaking. It's one of the best crime films ever. In my opinion, it's one of the best cops and robbers movies ever. IMDb score is 8.2. Meta score is 76 and Rotten Tomatoes score is 91. We've been face to face, yeah. But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. Number 8. A Bronx Tale, 1993. Director is Robert De Niro. Actors and actresses are Charles Palminteri, Lilo Brancato, Francis Capra. A father becomes worried when a local gangster befriends his son in the Bronx in the 1960s. Look, I'm your father. I love you. You're breaking my heart. Sonny, trust me. First off, I would like to say that I think A Bronx Tale is one of the best movies I have ever seen. As an average movie watcher, this is one of the most emotional movies I have watched. Still don't understand. It's not what you say, it's what he sees. IMDb score is 7.8, Meta score is 80, and Rotten Tomatoes score is 95. I know who you are, Sonny, and I know what you could do. This time you're wrong. You don't fool the man's family. Number 7, The Deer Hunter, 1978. Director is Michael Camino. Actors and actresses are Christopher Walken, John Cazale and Meryl Streep. An in-depth examination of the ways in which the Vietnam War impacts and disrupts the lives of several friends in a small steel mill town in Pennsylvania. You gotta listen to me. You wanna stay down here and die? This film deeply touched my soul. We don't know why some of soldiers come back and others do not. War is a gamble. It's a masterful piece of cinema. How do I know you know where he is? IMDb score is 8.1. Meta score is 86. And Rotten Tomatoes score is 91. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. What's the matter with you? Don't you recognize me? Number 6. Reagan Bull. 1980. Director is Martin Scorsese. Actors and actresses are Kathy Moriarty, Joe Pesci, Frank Vincent. The life of boxer Jake LaMotta, whose violence and temper that led him to the top in the ring destroyed his life outside of it. I'm the best. And I can take him more than anybody. Its essential masterpiece, powerful De Niro, 
simply one of the best films of all time. It doesn't get much better than this. It's the most important boxing movie of all time. That way. There's no one else around who wants to fight me. They're all afraid. IMDb score is 8.2, Meta score is 89, and Rotten Tomatoes is 94. There's a lot of bad things, Joey. Maybe it's coming back to me. Number 5. Casino. 1995. Director is Martin Scorsese. Actors and actresses are Sharon Stone, Joe Pesci, James Woods. A tale of greed, deception, money, power, and murder occur between two best friends. A mafia enforcer and the casino executive compete against each other over a gambling empire and over a fast living and fast loving socialite. If you haven't seen Casino yet, stop whatever it is you're doing. Rush to the nearest video store, rent it and watch it. Brilliant acting. Superb story based on events that happened in real life. I just gotta tell you, it's no joke out here. You gotta keep a low profile. Right off the bat, they don't like guys like us. IMDb score is 8.2, Meta score is 73, and Rotten Tomatoes score is 86. I try to do everything for you, even though I knew deep down inside you would bury me. I buried you, you buried yourself. Number 4, Taxi Driver, 1976, director is Martin Scorsese. Actors and actresses are Judy Foster, Sybil Shepherd, Albert Brooks. A mentally unstable veteran works as a nighttime taxi driver in New York City. When the perceived decadence and sleaze fuels his urge for violent acting. Every guy's got to be a Secret Service man. Travis Bickle has to be one of the most fascinating characters ever put on film. It's an individual's fight against loneliness and for justice. Hi, I'd like to volunteer. Why? Why? Because I think that you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. IMDb score is 8.2, Meta score is 94, and Rotten Tomatoes is 95. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? Well, who the hell else are you talking? You talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. Number three. Once upon a time in America, 1984. Director is Sergio Leone. Actors and actresses are James Woods, Elizabeth McGovern, Treat Williams. A former prohibition era Jewish gangster returns to the Lower East Side of Manhattan 35 years later, where he must once given confront the ghosts and regrets of his old life. I'm not interested in your friends in high places and I don't trust politicians. This is one of the greatest stories ever told. Every time I see this wonderful movie, I enjoy its special blend of melancholic romanticism and bitter ruthless violence. IMDb score is 8.3, Meta score is 75, and Rotten Tomatoes score is 90. Today they ask us to get rid of Joe. Tomorrow they ask me to get rid of you. Is that okay with you? Because it's not okay with me. Number 2. Goodfellas, 1990. Director is Martin Scorsese. Actors and actresses are Ray Liotta, Joe Pesci, and Lorian Bracco. The story of Henry Hill and his life in the mob covering his relationship with his wife Karen Hill and his mob partners Jimmy Conway and Tommy DeVito in the Italian-American crime syndicate. Never ran on your friends and always keep your mouth shut. This is the crime movie for you. It's not slowly paced 
as something like the Godfather or brutal like Scarface. No, Goodfellas is the perfect balance between both. You might know who we are, but we know who you are, you understand? Before we talk about number one of this list, please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Number one, The Godfather, part two. 1974, director is Francis Ford Coppola. Actors and actresses are Al Pacino, Robert Duval, Diane Keaton. The early life and career of Vito Corleone in 1920s New York City is portrayed, while his son Michael expands and tightens his grip on the family crime syndicate. Great ensemble acting, great story, great sequel ever made, a must watch for everybody. It's a great movie you can watch again and again and again. IMDb score is 9, Metascore is 90, Rotten Tomatoes score is 96. This is the business we've chosen.